Dust can be seen rising from cornfields across Louisiana as farmers are finishing up this year's harvest. Last year, farmers in the state averaged 175 bushels per acre, but better growing conditions this year have yields trending higher. I've been getting reports in this year and things look okay. Um, in Northeast Louisiana, we've been cutting anywhere from 180 to 200 about. I went down to Central Louisiana yesterday and I got a report of 240 and that's pretty much the highest that I've heard. The bad news for growers is that prices are off significantly. And while input costs were flat or slightly lower, yields are still not high enough to overcome the low price. A lot of growers are concerned that even though that price was reduced on input, it's not going to make up for the terrible year yields we had last year and the low prices that we're going to see this year. The U.S. corn crop is in good shape and yields are expected to be excellent, which is putting downward pressure on corn prices. So nationally, we're really expecting a good uh, corn crop, especially out of the Corn Belt. Um, so I think that that's what's depressing prices a little bit here in Louisiana. Pate Kearns is also the state cotton specialist, and while the hot and dry August has helped corn farmers with their harvest, it's starting to make a dent on the state's cotton crop. So now we're going through a little bit of a dry spell, which is really good for drying down that corn in the field and for getting it out, getting to the correct moisture content. Um, but it has suffered a little bit in cotton. We've had a lot of fruit shed. Because of the low prices this year, some farmers in Louisiana might not be able to secure loans to plant next year. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.